Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today we are on Summer Day 8, which is pretty late in the game. Uh, we're on year 2, I believe. Um, can't remember when we started. I think it was la a couple years ago. So, um, Okay, so last episode, I believe we got a chicken and a cow. And we got that church built, finally and started to um work on a few other things but yeah see i don't know if that's actually like the ladder being there with the um with dirt underneath it it looks like dirt i'm not sure if it is or not Kind of looks like it, but at other times of the day, it doesn't look like it. So I don't know if it's dirt or not. It kind of looks like dirt. Like, that's the dirt texture, right? Looks very similar to dirt. I don't know. Could be dirt. Looks a little weird. Now, I don't know if I bought this chicken or not. I don't think I, I did. Because we don't have the options to do anything with it, right? There is also a donkey there. Although... It's a female. Uh, young. You know what? Let's see if we can't buy that. Might be able to trade it for a higher price. So, who is our best person with speech? Seven, four, one, three, four. Send her over here to um, trade. Speechcraft, uh, the, the higher the speechcraft, the higher odds that you'll get a better deal, from what I understand. So, let's see if we can't get, um, okay, the donkey is worth only 111? Well, it is young. Okay, let's see if we can't sell some stuff for that. Okay, how much, ooh, they don't actually have a lot of inventory stuff. Um... Okay, we can't sell the cow. Let's see here, we might be able to sell something else. Uh, we have two male cows, actually. Where are they in this list? Male, Fido, that is... Young. Female. Male, that one. 52 for that.
Okay, so last episode, what I started to unlock was the smelting furnace. So I'm going to put that smelting furnace right here for now. Uh, I think that will do fine. Um, we'll see how it turns out. If we need to build like a shelter or something for it, then we can always move it to somewhere a little bit more dedicated. But I can't remember if it needs one or not. Um, as far as the next thing that I want to unlock, we'll see if we can't unlock... Um, let's see here... Beekeeping requires level two. Um, could go with blacksmithing or I think that's about it. There's these ones here that we can still work, but we don't really need to make uh, bricks, like the stone blocks. So, but that does open up stone carving. So we could unlock that, I guess. That's only 20 points. Um, bricks, the brick making doesn't really unlock anything particularly, so I don't know if we really need to do that. Uh, defensive structures, those aren't actually that good for the amount of research points that it requires. Um, the reinforced door is pretty good, but given that we're always nearby to close up the door, it's not really... <laughs> Uh, just placing a block, like a wall or whatever in front, just seems to be more secure anyways, so... Don't know if we really need that. Oh, we forgot to set up the, uh... Schedule for these guys. Did I do jobs? Yep, I did jobs, okay. Um, so let's see, what else do we have here? We have... Stone carving. Let's move a little bit more over this way and we'll see if there's anything. Okay, cooking we still need to unlock. Furniture three, those ones. Okay, those are all level two. So maybe either blacksmithing or um, cooking. I think cooking would probably be better. Uh, how many shelves? We have five there. We're gonna need more shelves though for sure. So let's let's craft up some more shelves. We'll add three more over on that side, and then we have three more space on that side. Then we can do the the back walls here if we need to. And I went hunting there uh, some foxes and wolves, and I think there was a polecat as well that I ended up hunting. So hopefully, if we are keep an eye open for wildlife might be able to see if they're
Okay, so it's currently really laid out, but there is this bear that's right here, and I want to take that on. Uh, so we're going to tell all of our people here to just select them all, and then we'll tell them to shoot at that. Hopefully we'll be able to... There we go. All right. Definitely a... Uh thing that you want to be careful with. I was a young bear, not even a fully grown one. And uh, definitely something pretty dangerous <laughs> to hang around. I also got uh, figured out that we need to tame this uh, particular um, cattle up in order to bring it over. So uh, that's fine. Oh, that won't be too much of an issue. But um, yeah, I just wanted to deal with that bear, and I, I originally went over here to uh, hunt a hare, which was a rabbit, somewhere around here. I can't remember where it went. I think I killed it. Dog might have picked it up already. Can't remember where it dropped, actually, so... <laughs> but uh, we have bear meat now, so that's always a thing, and... Um, the furnace is not really for creating charcoal. That's the kiln, apparently. So we'll need brick making for sure for that at least. But um, we can make at least iron. We can smelt gold and we can smelt silver as well as deconstruct certain objects. Um, yeah, so that's apparently a thing. Um, we can... I think there's research that we started... Uh, oh, no, we didn't. That's right. I wanted to unlock the kitchen, the cooking one. That's cost 30. So we'll see if we can't get 30 more of these. And yeah, so I don't know where that dog's going. He might be picking up the bear at the moment. That or the hare. I'm not sure where the hare is, but... Yeah, I just didn't want... I, I didn't want any of our animals to get hurt by the bear and stuff and he's been hanging around this cliff and I'm going I don't know so I decided just to get everyone over there with a bow and take it on quickly it wasn't too hard to do actually so I was a little bit worried but I know that a lot of them were that's why I split them up into two groups so it would kind of confuse the bear over which one to target so I'm glad it turned out that way it looked like he was getting pretty close to that um, other groups. So. Alrighty then, so our settlement's doing really good. I think what we'll do is we'll start building some, a, a spare house right here. 
And then once we get that all settled, um, I've been slowly building up this wall uh, support. Uh, we'll t need a couple extra blocks here once they finish doing that, but um, basically uh, what I've been trying to do is uh, even out this uh, train a little bit more. Uh, so it's, you know, more symmetrical and stuff. So I'm hoping that they will end up building it so we have a little bit more room for other things and just a little bit more buffer zone. We can plant some trees or something along here uh, just to decorate it a little bit more, right? Um, I want to move this gate as well. Uh, so it's basically we'll have like a ramp going up or something like that. But I want a like a buffer zone for the wall. And then we can kind of bring it down this way. That's why I'm leaving like a little bit of room here to walk because we'll be moving the cattle eventually. And then we can basically bring the wall a little bit down this way and then this way again. So it'll be a little bit more uh, better for what we need. And then I think what we'll do is we'll bring it out a little bit more this way and then over where the iron is. So we'll have the iron as a resource as well so we can do the mining and stuff. Uh, that will cut off some areas for them to go up and down, but at least we'll be able to get some iron from that. Um, there's a lot of iron right here, so there's tons of mining that opportunities and stuff like that. And I think there's some gold and silver as well, but anyhow, uh, yeah, so we'll have to mine these out as well and probably move our gate so it's facing over this direction-ish. Or something maybe over here I don't know uh, well we'll figure it out eventually because I want it sort in the center of the map so we might put it over on this side uh, maybe right over here or something like that I'm not sure yet but uh, outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out